there are good sugars and bad sugars. And if you've got a chopped banana in some oats in porridge in the morning, it's actually a really, that's a great breakfast and it's, and it's healthy. And I think you've got to just sort of look at things and know that everything in moderation is a good thing. And this um, Food Smart app is so good because you can then actually scan things and find out how much sugar, salt and saturated fat is in it, which is brilliant. Because people think they're doing the right thing, don't they? They think they're making the right choices. Yeah. They might think, oh, this is low fat, but they're not realising that it's actually high in sugar instead. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I think you know, breakfast cereals do get a bad name and they've had a real bashing. And, and actually, it's very difficult. As a mum, you as a dad would be in the same position. You just want your children to eat something in the morning and get out and you feel like you've, they're full, they've had a bowl of cereal and it's all fine. And actually, if you, if you use the app and you can, you can go on and scan all your different cereals, then you can see which ones are low in salt, low in sugar low in saturated fat. I mean, have you been on the receiving end of pester power though from the kids? Because that's what a lot of parents watching will be thinking. Yes, I'm trying to do this, but they're just saying, oh, can I have this chocolatey cereal or, you know, yeah. something else is bad for them. Yeah, and, and I have that. And believe me, at weekends, she's allowed a bowl of whatever cereal she, she can have. Um, but what the app has done for us is given her that power to, to check things herself. And if she thinks that she's in control and goes, well, these are all green, then I'm going to have that one, then she'll, you know, she'll actually say to me, oh, that's, that may be for, for a treat.